A popular Ybor City wedding venue abruptly shut its doors, leaving couples in a lurch. The doors are locked at 1930 Grand Room, and brides tell us management cut off all communication. So that's when they knew they'd better call Bankin. And investigator Shannon Bankin joins me now. Uh, brides can't catch mm. a break in the Bay Area these days. Man. You've done a couple of stories know, about brides having you. trouble. Yeah, and this was supposed to be the happiest day of their lives, as you can imagine. We've all been there. And these couples are months away from their big days, and now they're without thousands of dollars that they have spent on their weddings already. They have no place to have their weddings, and they have no explanation. <laughs> I don't know. Amy Dufresne and her fiance Rob won an Ebor City wedding. I'm that girl that's dreamt about the wedding, the fairy tale wedding, her entire life. It was supposed to happen on December 9th at the 1930s Grand Room, but the popular wedding venue abruptly closed its doors, leaving behind a pile of mail and couples with no answers. And they were great up until four months ago when I can't get a response from anybody. Amy's mother, Lucy, paid $8,000 towards this all-inclusive wedding. And I understand from talking to your mom, you know, this was a big <laughs> gift from her yeah. to you right. to give you the night and of And then that makes life. me feel so guilty that she's going to have to come up with. And I know she will. I don't expect her to, but I know she will. Amy turned to me for help to find answers. And so did this couple, Orlando and Kayla. They paid more than five grand. I called the business and found the voicemail box full. Go figure. I called the owner's cell phone. As you can imagine, they're really worried and upset because many of these women have paid you quite a bit of money and they, do, they have no answers. I found the owners have several business affiliations, and one of those filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy nearly a year ago. That gives Amy little hope she'll ever get her money back. What's what do you have to say to the owners of this place that left you with no answers? I hope you can sleep at night, honestly. Um, when somebody asked you what your best day of your life was, I bet you you said it was your wedding day, and you are ruining everybody's supposed to be best day of their life. And those owners are Anthony and Jennifer Sands Chagrin, and they ran the 1930s Grand Room along with several other Ybor City entertaining businesses, and today we found all of those businesses closed. My goodness, well, what are these couples supposed to do to even try to get that money back? Well, I've been on the phone with bankruptcy court because, you know, one of these businesses have filed for bankruptcy. There's a chance that these brides may be able to get in as a creditor, but the problem is, as we all know, if there's no assets there, then, you know, it's not looking good and there's no money, but right. we're still researching it. We're still trying to find out what they can do to at least get in line to perhaps get something back. Well, and in addition, they're so close to their wedding days, they need to find a venue at this point. That's right, and we're also reaching out to other venues so if you guys are watching and you're able to fit these people in I mean this bride you know December 9th it's coming up she's looking for a place that can mm. cut her a deal we're hoping that yes. better call bank and pays off in That's that right. way for these couples yeah. thank you Shannon if you have a problem that needs solving you better call bank in the number is 1-855-BANKIN